Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we're going to be taking a look at Rin's uh, build and also her strategy. So we'll start with her skills. So I have my Rin already at uh, 180. She is actually with Tenma and she is a Vanguard. So as for her skills, um, I already packed... Um, my design letter and uh, i'm ready up to three except for the last part which is her special so let's take a look at her attacks her precise cut attacks an enemy from the from the first enemy in the same line so typical for a vanguard level effect level two boost damage from basic attack by 25 percent then at level three boost the damage from basic attack by 25% for a total of 50%. So let's uh, pass by her ultimate. Uh, it's called Dancing Blades. Initial energy is at 60. Attacks the current target and enters uh, enter stair 4. I think this is state for 5 seconds in the stair state. Sorry. Spots an enemy weak point per attack. After 5 seconds, deals extra damage based on the number of weak points spotted. I'm not sure how how what does she mean by weak point, but it's um, I'm not sure if it's also RNG, but she identifies a specific weak point in the enemy right in front of her. So if you upgrade this, sorry, energy regeneration rate, it's at uh, six per second. Then once you upgrade this effect at level two, the stair state each attack by Rin triggers frost damage equal to forty five percent of her attack. So. It's good that you combo her, you, uh, combo her, combo her, with uh, with uh, heroes that also gives frost, while she gives frost damage. So additional damage. So as you can see here, frost damage. The lower the frost resist, the higher amount of frost damage taken. What's more, defense will be ignored when taking frost damage. So this one ignores frost. Uh, sorry, ignores defense. Because this is frost damage. Level 3, every time Rin initiates the skill, boosts all damage by 20%. Stacks up to 3 times, which is going to be up to 60%. So, as you can see, she is a, she is a can opener. She can, you know, open a lot of tanks for you and just decimate them with alone with her ultimate. Okay, let's take a look at her passive. Broken defense, a basic attack have a 50% chance to trigger a combo. A combo deals damage to a target two times in a row and ignores 30% of its defense. So again, um, ignore defense, which increases her damage. The combo is just a series of attacks. I think it's two or it's, it's a group of attacks that she unleashes. The trigger chance will be adjusted by the figurine's accuracy bonus. As you can see, the accuracy bonus is important for her as well. We'll talk to her gear later once we ha we are there already. Then when you upgrade her at the uh, effect at level 2, combo has a 45% uh, percent life steal, which is actually very important. Um, just level up, up to here, then you're good. Level 3 is just gravy as well. Triggers a combo one time after unleashing the ultimate. So what's important for her... Passive is going to be her combo uh, that has a 45% 40 life steal. Then the last is going to be her special. So boosts dodge chance by 15% and restores health uh, after each successful dodge. Then level 2, if you're going to upgrade this one, boost attack and dodge chance by 5%. Then if possible, try to boost this one. Level 3, boost dodge chance by 20% because again... She's gonna be dodging a lot because she's not uh, she's not a defender. She's a vanguard, so ideally uh, they are not really built to withstand damage unless they have dodge. Okay, so for her strengths and weaknesses, guys, I just want to point out that as for her health here, um, if you can take this up to S rating better and also try to improve on her accuracy bonus because she needs this for her skill and that's basically it so if you want to take a look at um, the parts that she has so here are the bonuses that i have so far it's because um i went with first of all i went with ultimate set ultimate power set 
you may also try to um, replace your ultimate power set with quick attack set if you want to boost or to make sure that she deals a lot of basic attacks. But for me, I'm going to prioritize her ultimate. That is why I opted for ultimate. And um, the other one, for this one, this is going to be basic attack power. Just want to give her more attack power for additional damage. But if you don't want attack power or if you don't have the attack power yet, you may opt for HP for this one. So HP is definitely one of her needs as well. Um, as you can see, we don't have um, we don't have uh, accuracy uh, in terms of set. So not yet for me. Uh, what I did was I made sure that her her bonuses have accuracy. Not not all because accuracy is really hard to find. So ten here, uh, ten as well. This one is none. <clears throat> well, this one has ten, and this one has none. <clears throat> so that is it for accuracy. Um, also for the badge. I want to take a look at the badge. Her recommended badge is this one. One, one of them is Eternal Phantom Badge. So this one is uh, if you want to concentrate more on restores health equal to 188% attack and boost attack speed by 10 for 28 seconds after initiating the ultimate. This is actually good. The other one that I think you should consider if you want to focus on accuracy uh, let's go to the badges here. It's called Eternal Midsummer Badge. So this one is also one of the needed badges for her. If you want to focus on accuracy, this boosts accuracy by 25% and has a 20% chance to restore 10 energy when attacked while uh, uh, which will be adjusted by accuracy bonus. So again, this will be terrific for her. The other one is End Time Ambition Badge. So this one. Boost accuracy bonus by 40% and effectively increase trigger and control chance. So those are the three that uh, badges that I'm recommending. Let's uh, go to Team Comp, guys. Okay, so we are here at uh, Tenma. We're going to try to clear Tenma with Rin in my lineup. So let's just uh, construct this lineup uh, According to her. So definitely Rin is going to be your off tank. She's not going to be your main tank because again, she is not a, she isn't a tank. She is a vanguard. So preferably you have a tank, then she attacks on the side. And there is also another formation that um, I usually bring with her. Um, it's like your three-headed monster. So you can also do a lineup where you have three front line where Rin is also an off tank. Then um, usually I would bring Megan here, but for this lineup, because it's Tenma, it's going to be Alfred. But let's revert back to that lineup because this is my lineup for um, the big three. So more or less, that's it. Um, Three-headed monster, off tank. Make sure that she doesn't really go head-to-head -head with tanks unless if you need her to. Then, as much as possible, try to combo her with frost heroes like Sani or with um, the other one is going to be Usuke. So frost... Uh, frost, the ones that are dealing that 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 give frost, um, those are the best for her to combo. So, this is my lineup. Let's check this out and see if I could finish this one. Okay, so um, as you can see here, I'm in a space where I uh, there is a additional buff for Rin. There's also an additional buff for um, Zarola here in her spot. So that makes um, Rin perfect for this stage. Um, really easy damage. Um, let's take a look at statistics later in terms of damage and how much she deals. Um, my guess is she's going to be second to Zarola in terms of damage for this one. Or probably if you build her well, she could even eclipse Zarola. Probably, probably. 
that is just a good uh, you know good assumption um aside from this content uh, big three you can also bring her in pvp which she will really shine as a tank buster as well and also you can bring her in tier because tier is also a single target boss where she will really really feast on single target opponents with very high damage as you can see there a lot of boost damage for this stage so we're gonna finish this up clean this up and hopefully we can already proceed to do a little bit of pvp just cleaning this up with rin so let's do one more one match actually for pvp before we end this guide uh let's put her here then let's try this we have zhu liang here so gonna be a bit of a headache for this one so i'm gonna try to bring zhu liang for this guy put him here let's try this out again she is placed as an off tank that she, she doesn't receive that much of damage so the burst damage that she deals pretty much is big so hopefully she can just withstand the onslaught here uh she can really shred the crucis there so hopefully it's i was actually uh, fortunate that i, I brought zhu liang to as you can see there, she is actually going wild. <laughs> so that is it. Even though I lost my Zarola, she was also she was actually able to finish everybody that is left. So that is it, guys. That is my showcase for um uh, for Rin. So hopefully you found this guide uh useful and more or less you could build your Rin already. Okay, guys, thank you very much for staying this far, and also please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. And thank you guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden, and I'm out of here.